guys, how are you? So I just wanted to say hello. I'm getting ready to go to the nail salon. I'm going to get a pedicure and I'm going to get the clear gel replaced on my nails. So I just wanted to check in before I headed there. And when I get back, I am just going to kind of clean up and figure out what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. So I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye guys. up a package that was sitting on my front porch. I purchased some things from Ulta. So I just wanted to show you guys what I purchased. So I purchased another tube of my First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser. This has been my go-to cleanser for almost two years now. So this is what I use to wash my face with. I purchased a two-pack of the Clarisonic Acne Cleansing Brush Heads. So these are the brush heads that I use for my Clarisonic. So combination here of cleanser with the brush head. I'm finally trying the Murad Environmental Shield Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lighting Serum and Pigment Lightening Serum. So I actually got the small kind of travel size um, just because I want to know how my skin's going to react to it. So I want to use this on my face. Um, as a serum underneath my moisturizer. Just for my dark spots um, that are caused by the acne that I really need to stop picking up. And I got some scar gel from Derma E for um, a few scars on my legs. I wanna go ahead and start working on those. In particular, the scar that is still on my leg from my fall in Bali, cause that has got to go. So yeah, those are my purchases. I also purchased a new facial scrub from Dermatologica cause I wanted to try that brand and I was also looking for a new facial scrub, but it has not come in yet and I didn't order it from Ulta. I ordered it directly from the company. So it's going to be here in like a couple days. So I'll let you guys know how I like that as well. So if you guys want to see an updated skincare routine video, just leave that in the comment section so I know and I will be happy to film that video for you guys. So I'm going to put my new Clarisonic brush head on here, but I just want to let you guys know because I'm not sure if a lot of people actually do this. It's really important to clean your Clarisonic Mia out before you change brush heads. So I have some warm water that's going to be running here, but I actually am going to take a Q-tip and I just put a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and I'm just going around because you actually have residual soap that will build up in here. And if you guys kind of look down in between these little circles, this is where the water, the soap scum from the different soaps will build up. Look at that, like you guys need to get that out literally from the Clarisonic Mia once I took my old brush head off. So it's very important that you guys clean this out and then just rinse it with some hot water. And then I just put my new brush head on and we have a brand new Mia ready to go. So I'm about to take a shower and lay down and just relax for the rest of the day. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys. Hi guys, good afternoon. It is July 3rd. I just wanted to say hello. So I'm sitting here at my computer. I just got out of the shower. Um, I was actually editing a video, which you guys will see before this vlog. It was my nursing student organizations, kind of like the pros and cons video, and should you consider joining a nursing student organization. So I was actually sitting here editing and making sure I had this video on point so it can go live on its scheduled day. So I finished that, just got out of the shower. I'm actually going to go to the trampoline park here pretty soon. I've actually never been, so I was like, I'm about to just be jumping around on little mini trampolines. So I'm just wearing um, like a sports shirt, I have this sports bra on, and then some leggings. So I'm going to finish getting dressed here in a little bit. Um, and yeah, just about to go jump around, jump around, jump, jump, jump around. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to grab some lunch though because I don't want to go and not eat first and then just be like jumping around all over the place. So definitely need to get some calories in. 
so yeah, that's really like all I have planned for the day. Just kind of go out for a little bit and then just want to come back and like chill back. <sighs> so yeah, just wanted to say hello to you guys, let you guys know what I was up to for the day and I will take you guys with me to the trampoline park. I'm not going to take my camera, of course, but I'll probably try to get um, some clips on my phone. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Bye guys. how are you happy 4th hope everybody is having a safe and happy 4th of july i'm actually going to get out of the house and do some things for a little bit i actually have to work tomorrow so i won't be staying out late and i hope it's not going to be too loud with firework festivities around my area so i'll be able to kind of get some good sleep tonight yeah so i just wanted to say hi to you guys i will take you guys along with me as i go throughout the day doing different things so before I leave the house, I'm actually working on a small project. So I'm going to kind of set you guys up behind the scenes so you can see what I'm working on. I'm actually going to be putting a curtain rod on the wall because I'm going to get some different backdrops. So here in some of my future videos, you guys will kind of see me with some different um, backdrops that I'm going to be filming with. So I'm going to set up the first piece that is going to be the backdrop setup. So that already came from Amazon. So I'm going to set that up first. This is my little DIY project. Um, so yeah, I am going to try to do this on my own and see how well it works out. Hey guys, so I have just finished the project. I'm actually super proud of myself for completing this project that requires putting holes in my wall, actually. So a lot of people are probably like, well, why didn't you just buy a stand for your backdrop? Well, I'm actually trying to utilize as much space as I can. So I just wanted to use the curtain rod idea that I actually saw um, another YouTuber doing. So I was like, oh, I can do this. So I'm actually super proud. It came out really nice. So. I'm gonna pat myself on the back. Just call me DIY Debbie, okay? So let me show you guys. So here behind me is the actual curtain rod, minus this one little hole where I messed up because I realized this side was not gonna be even. So ignore that one little hole. I really don't care about that. So this is the actual curtain rod setup, and I will slide the backdrop through and then roll it down when I'm ready to use it, and then I can roll it back up when I don't want it. So what I actually like about this setup is I can quickly hang up the curtain rod when I need it, put the backdrop on, roll it down. When I'm finished filming and I don't need it, I can roll the backdrop up, take the curtain rod off, and take the curtain rod holders off the wall so there's nothing hanging on my wall. And the only thing that will be up there are the screws in the wall so I can easily put everything back up when I'm ready to film again. So the power drill actually wasn't working for me and these types of screws so I had to manually screw these in. But we got it done and this is it and I'm super proud. So Hi guys, so I'm getting ready to go get something to eat. Actually headed to, where are we going? We're headed to Waffle House, like, 4th of July, nothing says America like Waffle House. And plus I had like a really bad craving for a waffle. So that's where we're going. So we are at Blue Gap Farm. We actually decided to come out here. It's um, actually a free park and farm area. And all you have to do is pay for the food, which is actually $1 a bag. So we're out here feeding the animals. So they have llamas, goats, cows, horses. There's like a playground. So it's just like a nice little outdoor farm. So we're out here just enjoying the weather, feeding the little animals. They're so cute. Hey guys, how are you? Happy Friday, July 5th. So I'm just getting home from work. Um, I've been home for probably about an hour or so now. I am about to take a shower and just kind of relax and unwind. And then I'm going to head out to a July 4th 
festival. So I actually didn't get to see any fireworks or do anything like that because I had to work today. So I went to bed early last night. Um, the people that took days off and like PTO time for July 5th were the smart ones because I had to sleep with my earplugs in last night because I could hear like fireworks going off in the distance. Then people in my community were kind of up like being loud and stuff like that. So I was like, oh my god, I kept like tossing and turning all night. So I got through today's shift, but they're actually doing like a second like Independence Day festival thing downtown near where I live. So I'm probably going to go out there just for a little bit and see kind of what it's all about and what vendors are set up and stuff like that. So just continuing in the July 4th festivities. So um, I'm going to take a shower and get dressed and just kind of go see what that's all about and then come back and lay down just because I have been at work for a little over 12 hours today. So yeah, I just wanted to check in and say hey to you guys and I will talk to you guys later. Oh, and so yeah, I came home to my package. My backdrop has arrived, so I'm super excited to film with that this coming week. So you guys will get to kind of see how that turned out with the setup and everything, see what color I chose for my first backdrop. So yeah, I'm super excited about that too. So that was waiting for me when I got home as well. Hey guys, so I am out here just waiting for the fireworks to start. I have about 30 minutes before the fireworks show starts. So we're just sitting out here. I'm waiting for my food. So um, we did a little concession stay and run. So we're just sitting out here. There's like a lot of people. So even though it's like technically not July 4th people still come out for like festivities and fireworks and stuff like that so I am looking like super festive I have like this literal American flag like tie-dye shirt on and then I just have some jean shorts on I should have brought a jacket because it's actually kind of cool out and I don't have a jacket on so.